When adhering wall flashings, always try to use lengths of sheet that are easy to work with. The sheet should be wide enough to turn out onto the roof 6 inches and be folded over the top of the wall and turned down the outside a couple of inches. When applying adhesive to the back of the sheet, make sure you do not apply adhesive along the 6 inch width of membrane that will be turned out onto the roof for seaming. Scrap material can be placed at the base of the wall to protect the field sheet when applying the adhesive to the wall. Remove the scrap material when done. When the adhesive is dry but still tacky, measure the height of the wall, add 6 inches for the flange, and use that measurement to chalk a line on the sheet. Pick up the sheet and place it against the wall, setting the chalk line flush with the top edge of the wall. Make sure the membrane is flush with the corner. Use a push broom to press the flashing tight to the wall. Broom thoroughly. The flange at the base can then be welded with the automatic welder or with a handgun. Repeat the process for the adjoining wall. When applying adhesive to the flashing, be sure to leave the last 3 inches along the end of the flashing free of adhesive. When the adhesive is ready, measure the height of the wall, add 6 inches for the flange, and chalk a line. Pick up the flashing, fold the end of the sheet back 3 inches, and set the wall flashing tight into the corner. Keeping the chalk line flush with the top of the wall, Set the wall flashing in place. Use a push broom to press the flashing tight to the wall. Cut the top of the sheet at the corner so the flashing can be turned down over the top of the wall and secured. The flange at the base can be welded with the automatic welder or with a handgun. When cutting out the excess material at the base of the corner, Cut down into the corner at about a 45 degree angle. Make the second cut also at a 45 degree angle. Use a handgun to weld the overlapping material. Cut a TPO universal corner to fit and weld in place.